Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and this new tutorial on PyTorch basics. Um, so in previous video, we learned about like how we can change the shape of a tensor. And uh, in this video, we will learn about like how we can uh, check whether our tensor is contiguous or non-contiguous. And also we will see like uh, where we need it and why it is necessary to have a tensor to be contiguous. Okay. So, uh, so this is simply a flag indicating whether a tensor is contiguously stored in memory or not and uh, in pytorch it is required for some uh, operations to work like it makes them uh, much more efficient or to run them more efficiently or more optimal uh, in 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 uh, cpu or gpu memory okay so um to check if a tensor is contiguous or not, we use is contiguous method. And to make a tensor contiguous, we can simply call tensor.contiguous. Okay. Um, so general operations that may return non-contiguous tensors are narrow, view, is expand, and transpose. And so let us dive in and uh, create an example and see like uh, what it looks like a tensor is contiguous. And when we uh, apply an operation on it that returns a non-contiguous tensor and then we see like um, what uh, memory layout it has okay so let us create a tensor is equal to torch dot let us use arrange method so let us say we have 12 size and then we can simply call view okay so in this case uh, i have checked like it is contiguous uh, like we can uh, check it so we can simply say print tensor dot is contiguous okay let us print tensor itself also let us print tensor dot stride stride is a useful method it returns like uh, what is the uh, jump to to um, Get the next element in that particular dimension okay so let us uh, run and see what results we get so let's see so we have is contiguous to and we got a tensor like 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 okay and here the stride is 3 1 so 3 means from one row to another row we need to uh, jump like three memory locations for example, if I need to go from 0 to 3, I need to jump like uh, 1, 2, and 3. Okay. So that's how it is. It is left to right and top to bottom. That's how the, uh, the items are arranged in memory location. Okay. So now let us apply a simple operation uh, that returns a non contiguous tensor. Okay. So let us say simply tensor is equal to tensor dot t okay? transpose. Now let us simply copy all three uh, prints and print here. So transpose is simply another uh, a method that will return a tensor non-contiguous. Okay. Now this will be false, and then we will see what stride looks like now. Okay. So let's run and see it. Now you can see here the is contiguous is false, and here you have like zero, one, two. So now in in like next row we will get just one memory location jump to go to the next row which is not like uh, how the memory layout in actual memory is okay so in general uh in array we will go like this to this to this to this okay whereas uh in actual memory locations we have it like zero one two three four five okay so for next element in like normal uh traverse we need to jump like three memory locations to go from go from zero to three okay that's why it is non-contiguous okay because the normal uh transfer uh, the normal traverse of an uh matrix are two d uh, two d tensor is like we get the whole row traverse like we get from go from here to here and then go to the next row okay but here uh, like uh, to go next element in the same row we need to jump like three memory locations okay so the tensor is non-contiguous 
to make a non contiguous tensor uh, contiguous we can simply call dot contiguous okay and also like there are uh, some tensor operations which require a tensor to be contiguous otherwise it will fail okay one of the example is dot view so let us call that and see what uh, we get so if we call here let us say we want to have 6 cross 2 okay this will fail because uh, 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 we always require the tensor to be contiguous. So let us run and see it. So you see, it said um, no, it's a uh, view. So it will uh, throw a runtime error. So let us run and see it. So you see here runtime error. View size is not compatible with input tensor size and is tried. At least one dimension is span across two contiguous service space. Use dot reshape instead. So uh, it is suggesting that uh, use another method which doesn't require the tensor to be contiguous, which is reshape. And if I will simply use dot contiguous before calling view, it will be fine. Okay. now I, I i actually change the tensor to be contiguous so um, making a tensor contiguous means the memory locations now will be in order okay so it will be each element in a row continuously uh, in the memory okay okay so let us print uh, the tensor and uh, whether it is contiguous and also the stride so we will know that uh, how much we need to jump in uh, to go in the next row and how much we need to jump into go to the next column okay so let us print uh, print tensor dot is contiguous so let us print tensor itself and also let us print tensor dot stride okay so let us run and see it so it is contiguous and also now you can see the stride is two for uh, rows and one for column meaning by if we want to go from zero to three we need to jump just one memory location whereas if we need to go to the zero to six we need to only jump two memory location which is like normal it is normal traverse okay so i hope it is clear so in this video we will stop here in the next video we will talk about uh, uh, more basic tensor operations. So thanks for watching. Bye for now. Take care. See you in the next